Servicing a PAR mag drive is an important operation, as the mag drive is one of the few moving parts on a reactor which is also pressure retaining. Standard maintenance should be performed at least annually unless severe operating conditions or poor performance warrant more frequent service. Signs your magnetic drive needs servicing include excessive lateral or axial play in the stirrer shaft, labored rotation or excessive debris inside the reactor cylinder, evidence of leakage into the confined space between the inner and outer rotors. This video will cover the rebuilding of the consumable parts in a PAR footless magnetic drive. Please be sure to do this service on a clean vessel that is free of any possible contaminants. Be certain that all pressure has been released from the vessel and be sure to wear proper safety glasses. Serious injury could result if the user attempts to do this work on a vessel under pressure or in an unsafe manner. Consumable parts to be replaced are the O-ring seal, both thrust washers, three bushings, the sealing gasket, and the cooling jacket O-rings. Here are the tools you'll need. A dental tool makes removing the O-rings easier. First, the head should be removed and brought to a suitable workbench with a vise strong enough to hold the unit. To prevent damage, secure the unit into the vise using a shop towel or use the available vice-mounted service fixture. This fixture securely holds the vessel and allows full access to all of the service areas. Next, remove the impellers and bushing support collar from the stirrer shaft. There is no need to remove the stirrer shaft when servicing a footless mag drive. We will explain this later in the video. Using an Allen wrench, remove the four screws that hold the cover in place and lift it off, exposing the top plug. Using two flathead screwdrivers, remove the snap ring that holds the ball bearings in place. Now lift up on the outer jacket. You'll need to overcome the force of the magnets. Then using the supplied spanner wrench, remove the magnetic drive unit from the reactor head. You may choose to leave the cooling water ports in place or they can be easily removed with a nut driver. Place the unit in the service fixture and secure to the vise. As before, you may use a shop towel instead of the fixture. Now the top plug should be removed using a face spanner wrench. Next, push up on the stirrer shaft and remove the rotor assembly from the housing. Note the upper thrust washer located on top of the rotor assembly. Remove the housing from the vise and tip it to remove the lower thrust washer. The top cap holds the top o-ring and the top bushing. Remove the old o-ring with a dental tool. PAR has available a tool that makes removal of the bushings easy. Simply twist on and pull straight off. The two lower bushings are removed in the same manner. They are separated with a simple spacer. At this point, it is recommended you service the cooling jacket by removing the retaining clip and replacing the O-rings. It is at this point that all consumables have been removed from the mag drive and reassembly can take place. It is also recommended to thoroughly clean all surfaces both inside and out before reassembly. Start by installing a new set of cooling jacket o-rings. Be sure to lubricate the cooling jacket o-rings before reassembly. Slide the cooling jacket on the shaft and apply the snap ring. Use the
the bushing tool to install two new bushings and the spacer in the lower mag drive housing. Install the first bushing. This may require a bit of force. Then install the spacer. And finally, the second bushing. Use the same bushing tool to install a new bushing in the top cap, then install a new o-ring. Remount the drive unit in the vise and drop a new thrust washer into the housing. Reinsert the rotor with the stirrer shaft installed and then install a new upper thrust washer. Leaving the stirrer shaft installed on the rotor ensures the lower thrust washer will not become pinched between the shaft and the rotor. The cap is now ready to be installed and tightened with the spanner wrench. Footless mag drives have a fourth bushing installed on the underside of the reactor head. It is recommended that this bushing is changed as well using the same removal installation tool as before. You will need to secure the head into the vise again for this procedure. Reposition the reactor head in the vise and carefully remove the sealing gasket from the mag drive port. Apply a small amount of nickel-based grease to the bottom of the port and install a new sealing gasket. Carefully push it in so that it remains aligned with the port. Then apply a small amount of anti-seize to the threads of the mag drive housing and carefully thread the mag drive assembly by hand into the port. Securely tighten with a spanner wrench. It's time to put the outer jacket back on. Once again, you will need to overcome the force of the magnets. Be sure to keep your entire hand clear to avoid getting anything pinched between the jacket and the lower snap ring. Now it's time to seat the upper snap ring. This secures the mag drive bearings in place. Seating is best done with a ball bearing installation tool, but can also be done using a flat headed screwdriver. You can now replace the cap and tighten the four screws that hold it in place. Next, the collar for the lower bushing can be installed. It should sit just below the flat surface of the head without making contact to ensure smooth operation. Finally, install the impeller. If you require additional help servicing your PAR mag drive or would like to purchase any of the special tools and fixtures used in this video, please call our world-class sales and support staff.